What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here. And today I want to go into another principle of chess. Well, and how it applies to the legal system, obviously. Now, let me explain it real quick. In chess, a fork is a tactic where a single piece makes multiple simultaneous attacks on two or more of the opponent's pieces. The most common and powerful forks are executed by knights because of their unique movement, but queens, bishops, and even pawns can also deliver forks. The key to a successful fork is that the opponent cannot counter all the threats in one move, often leading to loss of material. Now, how does that actually apply to a legal context? Well, many times people don't understand. I did a video literally maybe three or three years ago now, and I said, in order to, or if you have a legal issue, do this first. And I gave you three things. Now, in those three things, the most important was the first thing I gave you. And that is the one material piece that locks in the judge, the prosecutor, and also those that are alleging a crime. That can be the police officer. That can be someone who's alleging a possible injury. It also makes all of these people liable with this one piece. And then once you do that, you then have two other pieces that you can lob in front of them to kind of box them in and create the fork. So always think about that. You have the original setup in the beginning of any legal defense that you do that can create the fork that you're looking for in the principle of chess, but you also have to understand how each piece works and how you can use it to its fullest capacity. That's why I'm giving you these lessons in this manner. And also, this is why I don't lose. So if you're looking to win in court and you're also looking to get ahead, be placed on a learning curve and get the cheat code, which is myself, sign up for the masterclass, or use my direct contacts below. And I'm Supreme, and I'm out.